friends today we are going to discuss about the definition clinical phenotypes and pathophysiology of bronchial asthma in this module let's first see how we define asthma has there been any change over the last couple of years we all know that asthma is a heterogeneous disease usually characterized by chronic airway inflammation it is defined by the history of respiratory symptoms such as wheeze, shortness of breath, chest tightness and cough. But what is very important is that it varies over time and in an intensity, together with variable expiratory airflow limitation. That is very important. So the important component is that there is a variability over time and in intensity. Variable symptoms of wheeze, shortness of breath, chest tightness and or, or cough and this leads to variable expiratory airflow limitation. Usually this is triggered by factors like exercise, allergen or irritant exposure, changes in weather or viral respiratory infection. Symptoms and airflow limitation can resolve spontaneously or in response to medication that is what leads to variability and sometimes altogether symptoms may be absent for months or weeks. Episodic flares, which are also called as exhibitions of asthma, can be life-threatening and usually have a significant burden over a chronic stable disease. Airway hyperresponsiveness to direct or indirect stimuli and chronic airway inflammation usually persist even when symptoms are absent or lung function is normal, but may normalize with treatment. What it means is that airway inflammation, which is an inherent component of the asthma, it persists, even person may be asymptomatic, it may disappear on its own or spontaneously or more so by the use of treatment. When we talk in terms of pathophysiology of asthma, what we all know is that today asthma is defined as we have discussed just now as an inflammatory disorder. Now the question is what's carried or what causes this inflammation and we all know that usually it is driven by IgE dependent mechanisms. But at the same time, genetic factors also play an important influence on the development of atopy, which is a predisposition of an individual to develop allergic diathesis. And also the expression and inflammation, which leads to expression of atopy clinically in the form of allergic diathesis. Environment factors are as important in determining whether an individual will develop asthma or not. In simple words, person usually will have